Yeah. Grown men mm. want to wear heels. Grown men want to put on a wig. Grown men want to put an earring in each ear. My Lord. Grown men who straight want to hang out with gay friends. Yeah. You used to didn't hear this. Grown men want to know what it's like to wear lipstick. My Lord. Grown men now letting their nails grow long and they're wearing nail hard now. Because a grown man is saying, oh, I, I don't want to break my nails. <laughs> no grown man. That's a problem. Nails should be like a woman. No. No, grow. I, I can understand a woman. Her hands is feminine. She don't want her hands look like a man. That's right. You know, she got her nails at a reasonable length. Yeah. You know, a reasonable length, and she got them shaped right because why? She's dainty. Yeah. But you don't want to see no man. Man. His nails is past his wife hand. <laughs> That's the way Daddy Grace was. Yeah. The former leader. Yeah. Of the house of prayer for all people. Amen. I want to say what Pastor Jen, it don't matter how you look outwardly. God wants the heart. 11th chapter of the book of Romans. Mm -hmm. Or rather 1 Corinthians. Let's get the long hair men. Right. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I'm almost out your way. Glory Sorry. to God. Amen. Listen, First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 14. What is it? Doeth not even nature itself teach you? That if a man have long hair, if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. All right, fella. What are you doing with the afro? Amen. What are you doing with dreadlocks? Yeah. What are you doing with a ponytail? That's right. Why? What got you like this? Amen. That a grown man yeah. will have a rubber band to hold his hair? Hold his hair. Long a hair. A grown man? <laughs> That's right. Do it not even nature itself teach you? Do common sense teach you anything? That if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. Woman, what got you so wild and foolish? Amen. That you want to wear skin tight pants yeah. with holes all in them. That's right. Holes is right up there where your birth canal is. That's right. How did you get like this? How did you get like that? When you wear them in public, holes all on your behind. You want someone to see your bare skin in, under there. My Lord. Oh, the color of your panties. No shame. My Lord. Oh, your wear short, so cut. All your cheeks is hanging out. That's right. But then you say, I'm not a hoe. Why you want to look like one? That's right. What is it about a hoe that's appealing to you, Amen. ho? What the ho, ho, ho you doing? <laughs> Why it's so appealing to you? That's right. Go ahead. You children. What is it that make you think so cheap of your parents oh, yeah. that you really want to embarrass them? Yeah. When did your love become so weak? Mm -hmm. When did your parents start to look like trash to you? Yeah. Go ahead. Man. And yet you're being raised right. That's right. That you'll leave house yeah. with a skirt mm. and buy pants where the indignation, the, the imprint of your birth canal is shown. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. You all wear pants to school. Go ahead. Think you look cute. Right. And you look like a cheap hoe. That's not even worth a penny. Amen. Amen. What got you so messed up? That your parents don't mean nothing to you. That's right. But you call that love? My Lord. A dog don't even deserve it. No. no what happened to you? Mm -hmm. Why your mind so weak? Mm. That you will buy a bunch of skin tight pants. Yeah. And to put them on, you got to lay back on your bed. Fight. 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 Then when you get in them, <laughs> got to stretch. Stretch them out. <laughs> Why you ain't ashamed Amen. to show your womb in public? My Lord, my Lord. No shame. Talk to me. No shame. Why you ain't ashamed to show your behind in public? 
Amen. Your parents trying to raise you right. But the look of a hoe is more appealing to you. And the only trash excuse you could come up with. I like it. Now ask yourself, why do you like looking like a hooker? Go ahead. Why do you like looking like a slut? That's right. Why do you like looking like a hoe? Go ahead. What do you and a hoe got in common? Go ahead. That's right. Help somebody. Go ahead, brother. Am I right, folks? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Why do you think so little? Go ahead, man. That you were sneaking by pants and shorts. Mm -hmm. In your parents' house. Amen. Now want to be an undercover hooker. That's right. Undercover. And you weak, hell-bound parents. Yeah. Say nothing, say nothing to your children. That's right. Anytime you know what they're doing and say nothing, there's blood oh, that God is putting on you. That's right. Excellent. Beautiful. You young girls, Go ahead. stop trying to be like your sister. Amen. Amen. If your sister go astray, you walk the straight path. That's right. That's right. That's right. You young boys, go ahead. Stop trying to be like your older brother. If he's out there smoking and drinking, you walk the straight path. That's right. What happened to our young people? You parents, what happened to you? That you're afraid. To tell your children what happened. What happened? That now they can bring countless of boys at the house. What happened? That's right. That they can bring countless of girls at the house. Yeah. Why in the world will a wife argue with the husband? Because he don't want no boys there. What's wrong with you, mama? Amen. That you don't see nothing wrong with it. Yeah. How can you have the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and you don't see nothing wrong with boys sitting around your porch My Lord. like flies on dung? Amen. That the mama got the mentality of a hooker. That's right. If the woman had made mistakes when she young, she ain't gonna throw her daughter out there. You see boys coming around your daughter? Get away from here. That's right. Especially when you've been down that path. That's right. That's right. That's right. A man that's a real man, he don't want boys swarming around his daughters. No. No way. Amen. Some parents say, ain't nothing more you can do but tell them. You believe that lie. A father can do more than that. Oh, yeah. If that's all you can do, you're helpless. That's right. Father do more than that. That's right. When the father lay down law, the mother's supposed to come back and reinforce it. Not bargain with it. Not compromise with it. Yeah. Reinforce it. That's right. If father's gone at work and boys come by, the mother supposed to reinforce the law. Yeah. Uh-uh. No, 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 no boys here. That way the father should never come home and him and the wife is arguing about the law of God. That's right. Somebody's, somebody's got the wrong That's right. Somebody's mind. You girls. Think about the embarrassment. That you bring upon yourself and your parents before you open up your legs. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. And become another statistic. Yeah. Knocked up. Children. Children. No husband. That's right. And no job. 
And these young boys are not in the baby taking care of business. No. It's just drop and go. Stroke and walk. Pump and walk. You ain't nothing but bologna, salami, That's all. steak, and french fries. That's all. So you young, naive fools feel good when a good boy in school like, man, girl, you back and look at your hips. You like, <laughs> you like, straight it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. What is that to grin about? Some boy compliment you, your butt. Go ahead. Compliment your breasts. Go ahead. Where's your dignity? Yes. Go ahead. Talk to me, church. Yeah, it's something now. Yeah, it's something now. Where is your dignity? That's right. What happened to you that you were smuggled pants under your skirt? I didn't take your skirt off and wear it in school and embarrass your family. Yeah. How does such a whole life thought come in your head that you will buy skin tight pants? That's right. Smuggle them in the house, holes everywhere. Mm. Why it don't bother you to look like a prostitute? Mm. Why? Well, my friend said he like it. Your friend is a whoremonger. That's right. Amen. That's right. You ain't nothing but easy to him. Think of it. Any time a boy got you disrespecting your own mama and your own daddy who taking care of you. How in the world did you get so ignorant, so foolish, so hell bound? So trifling. That's right. So low. I ain't going to dress it up. That's what it is. That's right. Very low. Sir. And if any of you parents offended, does it look like it's my problem? Amen. Your children need what we're preaching. Oh, yeah. Look at the young people. Ten year old, pregnant. 11 years old, pregnant. Yes. 12 years old, pregnant. 13, pregnant. 14, pregnant. Lost their virginity, seven. Preach it, teach it. Teach it. My Lord. Young boys, they gave a statistic in America. They said most young boys, when the statistic went over, lost their virginity at 10. My Lord. You got people right in church get offended when we preach this. So young folk get upset. I don't like church. Why? Because you can't be a hooker? My Lord. I'm telling young boys, keep what's between your legs in your drawers. That's right. Somebody got to tell them. That's right. You upset with me because I'm telling them. That's right. Yeah. Amen. They say, Pastor Jenny, you too graphic. But yet your behavior is graphic. But you don't want me to say nothing. Yeah. Sin is graphic. And God just gave me a big mouth. If the pulpit is offended, take a hike. That's right. And don't never come back. That's if right. anybody up here can't take it, get out, yeah. and you ain't coming back. That's yeah. right. Because you show you're scared That's right. and incompetent. That's right. God asks, who will stand up for me? That's right. Good teaching. Grown people. That passage is too graphic. Look at sin. Look at some of the things you done when you was a sinner. Wasn't it graphic? Graphic. That's right. They grumble at me because we say it. That's right. They think it. Get out of the way. In Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 11. What is it, young girl? Mm -hmm. 
no young boy to have more influence over you mm -hmm. than your mother and daddy. No. And here you are, raised in truth, all of you in children. Yes. And a young boy can come to you. You know what? Why you don't wear pants? Mm. Well, well, my religion don't lie. Well, I want to see how you look with pants on. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Well, you know your friend, Samantha? I saw her with pants on. So then he put that in your mind, and because you're young and immature and dumb, now you want to compete with Samantha. Samantha. Mm. So then you go sneak and put some pants on. Because all he wants you to do is look like a hoe like Samantha. That's right. Let me make it to you real plain, young girls that are watching. The young boys in school, they just want your stuff. That's all. Do you hear me? Go ahead, brother. Do you hear me? The young boys in school, they want your stuff. That's right. Huh? That's right. They want to suck on your breast. Go ahead. They want to play with your wound. And they want to pat your behind. Go ahead. And you end up with chlamydia, yeah. gonorrhea, yeah. or syphilis, Go ahead. or crabs. And they can get you pregnant. Yeah. And that cheap, no good bomb cannot be found. That's right. Amen. That's right. Am I right, folks? Yeah. I got to warn them. That's right. That's right. I got to preach it like this. Got you. I got to be plain. I got to be graphic. Got you. Paul said, though I be rude in speech, That's right. but yet not in knowledge. That's right. When Paul said, though I be rude in speech, he meant that the preaching was harsh. It yeah. sounded terrible, but it was good. Go ahead, man. Holiness Go ahead. is a right in your face message. Yes, it is. You know, the reason why folks can't take it, this is the type of church you used to go into. Stop your sins. Stop. <laughs> Don't do wrong. Don't do no wrong. I said stop. <laughs> you shouldn't play like that. No wrong. That's the type of church you're used to. Yeah. Holiness. No wrong. Nothing. Do what God said. Obey God. That's what holiness does. Some of you young girls won't listen. You need to talk to some sisters who done already went down that road. Yeah. And they will tell you, being a single parent is hard. Yeah. It's not a game. That's right. Hard not life. a game. Very hard life. Very hard life. Amen. 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 Love yourself. That's it. And respect yourself. That's right. Love your parents mm -hmm. enough not to bring embarrassment upon them. Yeah. How did that boy or that girl become so influential Amen. that you will embarrass your own family Amen. and you ain't got no shame? And the only thing you can say is, I like him. Why do you like looking like a prostitute? Right. And you mothers, ask your daughters that. Don't sugarcoat it. That's right. Don't ask her, why are they looking like this? No, ask her, why you want to look like a hoe? That's right. Well, because I dress like this, that don't mean I am a hoe. Give me the seventh chapter mm -hmm. of the book of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. There's a thing called harlot attire. Harlot attire. That's right. Go ahead, break it down. Break it down. You can dress like a pimp, but you ain't one. Is that right? Brother, you can wear a certain suit, a certain shade of color, a certain style, and then get your car looking a certain way, and somebody will guarantee you a pimp. That's right. Certainly. That's right. The brother walk, walking with God, there's certain things you don't wear, and his car don't look a certain way. That's true. He don't need spinners. No, he don't need that. That's right. Amen. 
Why? Wow, he's in the church. That's It'll right. affect everything he touch. Right. He had no business having dice hanging from his from mirror. His mirror. <laughs> he's in the church. Amen. He shouldn't have plastic testicles hanging from the back of his bumper. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Am I right? I say. He's in the church. In the church. Go ahead, brother. I God, man, this stuff oh. covers everything. Oh yes. You pull him up to the church parking lot. Plastic <laughs> testicles from your dump truck and from your car. From your and car. you getting out of it with a Bible. <laughs> you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. No, no. That's inventors of evil things. Of evil things. That's right. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 10. Huh? Amen. Amen. Come Amen. on, son. And behold. Behold. There met him a woman with the attire of an heart. There met him. A woman dressed like a hooker. That's right. Why in the world you want to have all that? Why? Why you want to look that way? Ankle chains, fishnet stockings, yeah. all in public. Why are you doing that? Why you, mm -hmm. huh? That's right. Why is that? That's right. Why you want to show your breasts? Why? What is it about showing your body in public that makes you happy? <laughs> is it? I'm asking a legitimate question. Yeah. What is it? You that are watching me now, please, I want you to write me. Write Pastor Jennings. Write us. All right, this is a question to you young teenagers. Yeah. And you that's in your early 20s mm -hmm. who haven't yet become mentally stable. Yeah. Please tell me, what is it about showing your breasts, your butt, your thighs, part of your womb that makes you happy? Happy. Is your esteem that low that it take compliments from bums yeah. to build you up? Yeah. Do you have a self-identity? Something's wrong. Something's wrong with the young people of America. Yes, it is. So you young people being raised in the truth, you become ashamed. Mm -hmm. Of wearing a long dress. Yeah. You become ashamed. Mm -hmm. You look how backward things are. You become ashamed yeah. of hiding your bra. You're ashamed of it. Because you become ashamed of being a virgin. That's right. I want to say to my young girls that are watching and listening all around the world mm -hmm. if you are a virgin, Stay that way until you be married. That's right. Don't break your virginity. That goes for you two young boys. Amen. Stay that way. You ain't got a broadcast. You ain't been with girls. That's your personal business. Stay that way. Keep your dignity. Go ahead. And you ignorant fathers who say, well, I'm going to teach my son how to get a girl because my daddy taught me. You got a whoremonger for a daddy. That's right. Amen. Hear me? Amen. Because a real man won't talk like that. What he'll do is teach his son how to be respectable and how to conduct himself and what to say and what not to say to a young girl. That's right. If your father taught you things coming up, and when you come into the knowledge of the truth, and you find out it was wrong, you don't pass the wrong to your children. That's right. No. In other words, you correct the wrong that your father gave you. That's right. Don't be such a fool. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. So children, what happened? Well, you can't make a child be saved. As long as you're under your roof, you can make them obey. Right. And obey. That's, That's right. That's your roof. That's your roof. That's right. If my children get to the point, they refuse to obey me and their mother, it's time for you to get your own roof. 
And don't come running to me for help, because I ain't going to help you do wrong. That's right. I ain't doing it. No. I helped you do right, no. but not wrong. That's right. Well, my friends respect me. Young people, listen to your father. That's me. <laughs> your father in the gospel. That's right. The respect of your friends ain't worth a dime. If your mama and your daddy, if you ain't got their respect. That's right. You ain't got the respect of your parents. Your friends' respect ain't worth nothing. Nothing. Your friends respect you. Why? Because you're doing what they want you to do. That's right. That's why. Here you are, a young girl. And you're starting to develop and you want people to see it. Why are you ashamed to have a long dress? Why? Now they're wearing these tights in public that's sheer. You can see their skin right through it. Yeah. Why you want to walk in public that way? Where you're naked behind the scene. Are you that much of a slut? Go ahead. Do you love trash? Go ahead. That much? That much. Fun. Why you want the world to see your cheeks in public? That's right. Go ahead, brother. What happened? Mm -hmm. What happened? Where old mothers are saying, well, we're getting, well, you know, we're getting on the women too much about how to clothe themselves. What's wrong with you, old woman? What's wrong with you? You talk and think like a fool. That's right. Well, I'm a mother, but I ain't going to tell them that. Then you sit down because you ain't a mother. That's right. And you're not responsible. A mother like that don't need to function in church every life. In fact, she's poisoned the young people. Amen. Amen. You're going backward. The mothers in the church of Jesus Christ are supposed to uphold holiness. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. But they say Pastor Jennings is too hard. Yeah. But nobody complained about sin. No. But they complain about Pastor Jennings. <laughs> we got all these young people. And this is just America. Look at all the thousands that's trying to follow this stuff all around the world. What I'm preaching to you, the whole world is hearing the same thing. Yes. Why are you buying wigs and wearing them to church? You know they ain't your hair. Get that fake garbage off your head. Get off your head. That's right. How you on tarry for the Holy Ghost with Walgreen on your head? What's wrong? You can't love yourself. Love yourself. Preach it, brother. What's wrong with the way God made you? That you need to wear somebody else's plaques, somebody else's ponytail. What's wrong with the way you see the media made you women and men hate yourself? You men hate yourself so bad you go dye your hair. You want to impress some young girl. They, they, I seen them advertising some spray that before you leave the house. Spray it up. What's wrong with the way God made you? Brother, if gray getting in your hair, you don't need no pencil. What's wrong with the way God made you? You don't need blackout. Why? What's wrong with why you hate yourself? See, that kind of message make them squirm. And then before you know it, tip it out. Tip it out of here. That's right. My God, I want to teach the world. Love yourself. Amen. Love yourself. Well, Pastor Jennings, I'm a young person in church, but uh, I don't want to be different. Anytime anybody walk with God, that's what God does. Right. He call his people a peculiar people. Right. people. Right. You're not the same, you're different. That's right. Amen. Because you're being taught different. You can say what you want about the Muslims. Them Muslim women, what they wear, they respect it. And if you just touch some of them got the garb across the face. Mm -hmm. If you touch it, they look at that as equivalent to rape. Lord. Mm -hmm. 
But they'll look at church women and look at them and say, well, they just cover too much. Too much. Why? Oh, Why? He's a folk that's he color mama. He <laughs> Heek. Heek. Wear your long dress with decency. That's right. And with pride, if I can use that word. That's right. Go to school with it. Having your head covered. Not showing your body in public. That's right. Love your parents enough that you refuse to embarrass them and belittle them at any cost. Amen. Amen. When your parents give you order to come straight home, you don't go nowhere else without their permission first. That's right. Amen. Because then when you go somewhere else, and then they jump on you. They don't need to get upset. You're the one that was hard head. Yeah. Children, if you hard head and your parents get on you, why are you mad with the parents? You brought it on yourself. Yeah. The parents, oh my God, I had no things on working on this. But I got to give you everything that I can give you. Amen. Well, you can't preach everything in one day. I know. That's why we're coming back tomorrow and tonight. Glory to God. So we coming back tonight and tomorrow. Now, young folk, listen at this teaching and now ask yourself, why are you upset over it? That's right. I'm teaching you to be decent, respectful, and don't need to talk about no boyfriend here. You in grade school to middle school. Forget a boyfriend. Amen. That young boy wants your behind, and that's all. That's it. His eyes beaming at your little breasts and your behind, and he want to figure out what your birth canal is like. That's right. Yes, I'm telling you, just like that on television. On television. HBO tell you like that. Yes, they do. Cinemax tell you like that. That's right. But when it comes to church, did you hear what he said? No. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. If some of you had this teaching before you met me, you may would have still been a virgin. Men and women. But some ain't had a house to tell them nothing. When you text message or tweet or email, it shouldn't sound like a hoe. Go ahead, brother. Am I right? Go ahead. You 12 and 13. What are you tweeting? Tweeting some trash to a little whoremonger. That's right. That's right. What are you doing, fella? Skyping to a little teenager. Mm -hmm. Showing your body parts. That's right. You're an internet pervert. That's right. <laughs> You got to be careful when your children are on the computer and on the phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I got the children so obsessed with the phone at the breakfast table. That's right. Here I got. We got churches around the world and I get calls from around the world. You don't I don't lay in bed with no phone. <laughs> Why? For what? Young people, go to bed. Phone. Oh. Breakfast table. Mother talking to them. Right in front of their mother. Wait a minute, Mom. You're a disrespectful fool. Amen. Young boys, father talking to them. What'd you say, Dad? Dad, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> You's a fool. That's right. You think so little of your father that your phone carry more weight than the one that's putting food in your big mouth? Go ahead, brother. I want to show you how ignorant you are. You getting older in age, but your mind is as small as a pumpkin seed. Your mind ain't moving. 
And you parents, Go some ahead. of you don't see nothing wrong with it. You being disrespected right to your face and you ain't got no problems with it. That's right. Children tweeting and texting while you talking to while them. Talking. And they're going to tell you, wait a minute. I got a text coming in my wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's the time. And the parents are so dumb, they wait. That's true. That goes That's to right. show you, parent, use a fool. Right. Be a parent. Be a parent. Be a parent. Yeah. Or stop pretending. If you wasn't going to be a parent, you should have kept your legs closed. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. What he said? Backbiters, haters of God. Despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. That cell phone can be evil. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Amen. Look how obsessed you are that you are just sitting with it. Just sit with it. <laughs> That's right. See what magic? Half sleepy. That's right. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3 in the morning. Half sleep, then. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> You're an obsessive fool. Yeah. <laughs> Something wrong with you. <laughs> Ain't no one should be that obsessed with something. That's right. <laughs> and something. This is what have happened to our young people. That's right. You became slaves. Yeah. The devil have formed electronic plantations right in your face, and you are slave. That's right. Something, it's something. You sit in church, and you can't even quote Genesis 1:1. One, one. Amen. Oh, it, it said something about the heavens and earth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It <laughs> but you will remember a text. Word for word. Look how ignorant you have become. That's something. And then parents at the church won't speak to Pastor Jenner. Right. Young people won't speak to him. I ain't shaking his hand. That's all right. You got to hear me long as I'm alive. That's right. I'm trying to keep you out of hell and you rushing to go there. Huh? I'm trying to block you. Huh? He just rushing to go into hell. I'm trying to get you. No, turn around. You like, get out the way, Pastor Jennings. I want to go to hell. I'm trying to keep you from going. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Amen. Young girls and young brothers. You young girls that may get teased in school by your friends because you're dressed. Don't pay them no mind. Always keep your dignity. Always keep your self-respect and always honor the right things and the good things that you are being taught from your parents and from the word of God. That's right. Honor it. Respect it. Respect it enough. It'll guide you right. That they keep you out of trouble. Oh, yeah. Amen. See, when you young boys can be manipulated by some young teenage girl and you're a teenager until they can cause you to disrespect your parents, it shows you how weak you are. You may develop as a man, but until this mind develops, you ain't a man yet. A man yet. Right. You ain't a man yet. Not That's there. right. When a young girl can throw you a sales pitch, <laughs> and you buy it and you sneak her right in your parents house wow. you ain't mature yet you're greener than a crayon made by Crayola you're naive dumb ignorant immature oh, yeah. are you listening amen when them young boys can encourage you to steal Breaking somebody's house, breaking somebody's car, steal somebody's rims, smoke a cigarette, and you know you ain't got no business smoking. Drink beer, 
where you can be manipulated to do anything. You're weak. I don't care how old you are. That's right. My job is to fortify your mind. That's it. This is a weak minded generation. They can't even take pressure. That's right. Things don't go right in school. They don't want to talk to nobody. They shut down and just look. That's the truth. They can't even take pressure. That's true. Young people today killing themselves. Can't take pressure. So psychologists and all these other type of ologists trying to figure out a way. If you get God out of a community, that community got to go to hell. That's right. We are laboring that people may bring God back. Yeah. Let's go back to the old landmark. Go back. You young girls that are virgins, keep it. Don't make yourself a sperm bank. That's right. For every two-legged piece of trash that is in your school and in your neighborhood. Don't blush because somebody compliments your behind. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Am I right, man? You young boys, stay away from bad crowds. Get your education out the way. God first. Don't be a lazy young boy. Don't be afraid to get a job and go to work. Don't look for your mama and your daddy to do everything for you. Get your lazy self up. That's right. You got to learn responsibility. You can sit around and look at cartoons and play games. Get up! Get out the house! Get a bus schedule! Glory to God, I want to give you a gut fool. Amen. You may not be hungry after this session. <laughs> The young generation in their teens is so messed up, they're not even qualified today, most of them, to be future wives or future husbands. Because they don't have no mental and emotional stability. There's no foundation. No foundation. Yep. Amen. No foundation. Parents got to be honest enough that if a young brother is interested in your daughter and she ain't mature enough, just tell him, look, man, that might, look, she ain't ready for no marriage. Don't even go there and want to talk to her. Just right. tell him straight up. It don't matter if she say, daddy, oh, hush your mouth. You know you ain't ready either. Right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. If you know your son is too immature, to be married hmm. or even to be in a relationship if you love him intervene because if he's naive you see that girl misleading him you can be right in it listen this is church but we got to teach you more than jesus that's right that's right because he told his apostles i make you fishes of men correct right. everything you catch ain't godly no. You can have someone that's street smart and know you ain't. <laughs> a street smart woman. I have a brother washing <laughs> her child and she be going out to dinner with somebody else. And right in church. Right in the church. And you just be sitting there with a fool look. There is no pride in being lazy. No. Am I right, I said? Amen. 
Many of us, our parents worked two and three jobs. Yeah. Didn't they? Yeah. The young generation about to fall out with a part-time job. Part-time. They complain about that so they three hours. They come home. Three hours. <laughs> My dogs is hurting. That's just puffing. Exhausted. Exhausted. And just work two hours. Two hours. <laughs> two hours. Young man, in your teens, if you ain't, if you don't have a job, and McDonald's call you, who in the world are you to say, I don't do McDonald's? Well, you ain't doing nothing. That's right. Do you know how many mothers and fathers is in McDonald's, Arby's? In other places, just to keep you with food in your greedy mouth. Amen. That's right. Am I right, sir? Yes, sir. Amen. Hey, you don't have no job. I don't do Arby's. I don't do Wendy's. <laughs> Then what do you do? What do you do? Well, if I work there, they're going to make me shave. You too proud? This is how ignorant you sound. They're going to make me shave. So, are you that arrogant? Are you that conceited? Shave. And work. Right. And have a sense of dignity and self-respect about yourself. That's right. Now stop talking and thinking like an immature fool. Go ahead. It is written, show yourself a man. Yeah. You got men 30, 40, and 50 in college. You got some men in college that get a degree flipping burgers. Yeah, that's right. They don't care they got the shave. They need, they want to make it. That's right. Getting off one job. Some may be a waiter, and some of them places you go to, where you see some young men and some young girls are waiters, a lot of them is waiting because they're trying to pay their intuition fee for college. That's right. They ain't college. They ain't got no, no, they're not proud or got a sense of pride far as feeling down about what they got. In their mind, I'm working to make it. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm working to make it. So it ain't no problem for him. Can I help you? Can I help you, sir? That's right. Yeah, I want some Miss Mop, Mocha Mop, and some Radapanacana stand, and some Anapanacana, and some Ripple. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Come right back. That's right. Hey, you all, sir, I hope you enjoy your meal. That's right. Look at these arrogant young boys. I ain't waiting on nobody. I ain't waiting. I ain't going to do that, you see. I ain't down with that. And you just sit in a house and grow old and stink up the house. My Lord. Parents, don't tolerate it. That's right. I don't care if it's your son or daughter. That's right. As young men, don't be afraid to work. Get up off your behind. Be free. Doesn't matter how small that job is. If they call you, take it. Yeah. Well, they want me to lift boxes. So what? My arms hurt. So what? My back hurts. So what? My dogs hurt. So what? That's Let right. them bark and get the box. Get the box. See, when you start talking like that and you young, you have proven you are incompetent. You are incompetent to be anybody's husband. Amen. And you will never make it being somebody's daddy. It takes a lot of work to take care of family, brother. Yes, it is. And there are so many single young women that's doing it. You think they want to work every day? Some of these husbands are bums. Yeah. Lazy. Yep. Good for nothing. Good for nothing. You ever heard of a nanny? I remember when I dealt with a case and I first was introduced to the word manny. Huh. I didn't know what that was. I looked bewildered. 
And I was like, huh? What? <laughs> Gentlemen, the wife told me that he wanted to be a manny. Oh, I looked up. <laughs> because I, I, was, I, was be, I was like, huh? <laughs> she said, have you ever heard of nanny? I said, yes. She said, well, he wanted to be a manny. He had degrees and said he didn't want to work. Now, everything is going so backward until men are telling women to their face, I don't, I don't want to work. How about you work and I take care of the kids? And it's strange how some of you women are accepting this. It is the job of the man, if he married you, to take care of you. That's right. If he can't take care of you, if you can't do the job, don't fill out the application. You young boys that's in your teens, if you don't straighten up, you will never be worth anything. You will never be good for a father, and you will be no good for a husband. In fact, you won't be fit for a brother. Because the scripture says this, a slowful man is a waste to his brother. To his brother. To his brother. Are you listening to me? Go ahead. We're trying to save our young generation. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to carry those boxes, you lazy thing. <laughs> I don't want to work at McDonald's. Why not? Why? Burgers are heavy. <laughs> Big but come back and ask them what kind of car they want. Oh, I want a BMW, I want an Audi, I want a Mercedes. You know, I the, the, the Bentley is my dream car. Wait a minute. How you expect for it to get it? Because touch and claim ain't real. No, it's not. That's not going to work. I'm telling you. No, it won't. We're keeping it real to everybody. The young, the middle aged, and the old, because when you go out them doors after you're done singing about Jesus, life is real. That's right. And you don't need for you to go out here thinking something that is not. Being young and tough and knowing how to use your hands is not going to get you in life. That's right. It'll get you in jail or the grave. You 17 and 18, you can't even think straight. 17 to 18, and look how naive you are. You still can be duped, still can be conned. 14 and 15, you don't know whether you want to keep your virginity or throw it in the trash. My Lord. I want to wake the parents up too, to these children. Yes, sir. You parents that are watching us around the world, many of you have fell asleep and have slobbed on life. <laughs> <laughs> The telecast is designed to shake you. Wake you up. Wake, you Wake up. up. That's right. Grandmother now is the mother to our grandchildren. That's right. Being a grandmother should be a privilege, not a burden. Am I right? I said. It doesn't matter who's offended. It's the truth. Great privilege. Great privilege. Grandmother should be a privilege. Yep. She should be able to visit her grandchildren at her own time. That's right. But what do you have in most cases? Grandma, after she done raised her children, now she got to struggle. Take them to their doctor's appointments. She pushing a stroller. Arthritis, hurting. <laughs> Gotta feed them, wash them, help them with their homework. Homework she ain't never even heard of. Am I right, I said? Until her grandchild is calling her mama. Um. And call the mama by the first name. That's right. But call grandma mama. That's right. Young girl, 
who's the mother of this child, why don't it bother you? See, it should bother you. But this has become such a convenience and have become so normal until it's accepted. So when someone like us crowd against it to make the correct the thing and put it back in order, they look at me like I lost my mind. That's right. Pregnancy is not a contest. We don't preach safe sex. Amen. We preach no sex. That's right. That's right. Even when they advertise condoms, they tell you. They don't protect you from no venereal disease. They tell you that. You think you know what you're doing. You tell them, oh, oh wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Some things are made of men. They got defects. That's right. <laughs> Next thing you know, you go in the bathroom. And you're not still. You don't know what's wrong with you. What's the matter? Oh. <laughs> 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 On your toe. Ha, 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 ha. You can't even finish. And you don't know what's wrong with you. That's right. Am I right, man? I don't care how graphic it found. It sound. These are sons that are falling into this. Yeah. And you mothers look at me. Oh, Jesus, he shouldn't say that. Why not? Some of you parents had to take your son to the doctor. And your daughters. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep these boys from getting burnt. And these young girls were getting burnt. So I ain't going to dress it up. No. Hmm, if you preaching like that, ain't coming back tonight. That's all right. I'm going to preach it while you're absent. <laughs> the pregnancy of our young girls is the epidemic. 10, 11, 12, 13, what they know about being a mother? They ain't nothing but a baby having a baby. The parents of America, you need to get on the job. You fell asleep years ago. Parents that's in the church, you need to get on the job. That's right. This is the wake up call. You've seen society have went backward and churches have gone right with it. Haven't they? That's right. That's the truth. Amen. Let me close with the fifth chapter of the book of Romans, if I'm uh, rather the fifth chapter of Jeremiah, mm -hmm. and I believe the 30th verse. 30th verse. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. Oh, give me the correct time, brothers. What's that? 405? Good meal. It's a good meal. Yes. Ain't no one got to work today. We're coming back for church tonight. That's right. That's right. And we're coming back tomorrow. Ain't nobody got to work. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Pastor Dennis, I'm hungry. I ain't got him feeding you right now with God's help. Right. Read quick. Jeremiah 5 and beginning verse 30. What is it? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. What? The prophets prophesy falsely. The prophets prophesy falsely. And the priests bear rule by their means. The preachers made themselves rulers. And how do God people feel about this? And my people love to have it so. And what will ye do in the end thereof? Hmm. I will be in, I would be embarrassed. I got four sons and all of them turn out to be bums. I would be embarrassed if one turned out to be a bum. That's right. Amen. Yes, I would. Because one is too much to be a bum. I would be embarrassed if any of my daughters end up pregnant and they ain't married. Amen. It's an embarrassment. I don't care how you look at it. I don't care how you cut it. That's right. There's something that's not acceptable. The problem with many of these parents today. You have bargained, mm -hmm. and you have gotten so relaxed and so cool, 
No, we can't hover over our children 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. But that don't mean you got to accept filth. No, That's right. No, no way, sir. No way. Amen. I don't mean you got to accept no filth. No way. You can't pet your child up in filth. No. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. And you see the direction of the children? Just like I teach my daughters, don't you come here bringing me no baby. I teach my son, you better not go make no other girl pregnant. That's right. You can't even buy a roll of toilet paper. You can't even buy the, the cardboard in it. That's more the roll, not even with a coupon. All it takes is to get burnt one time. I mean the type of burning you can't erase. Lord. Some of them look good and fine and built and look so wonderful. And all of a sudden you HIV positive. Or got out of all that good look. Now you got death in front of you. That's right. I dealt with the case years ago when we was on Briar Road. Young girl was a virgin, and she kept trying to hold on. And she would come talk to me about it and whatnot. I said, listen, listen, listen. You ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. Just take your time. I know it can be hard, but she wouldn't listen. The guy she hooked up with, about two weeks later, she came to me. It was her first experience. Our first experience, HIV positive. She went from virginity to HIV positive on her first, not a second, on her first experience. Oh, Lord. Some things can't be fixed. You better hear the old man. What the old people tell us? Everything that shine and go. I'm telling you, yeah. if this makes some of you young boys uncomfortable, it should. Right. Amen. 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 You young, you naive, you got to be careful because sometimes some older women in behind you, older than you, compliment you. Oh, look at you. Oh, man. Look at you. Make a muscle. You sitting there. <laughs> 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 Look at you. Let me make a muscle. You sitting there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work out a little bit. <laughs> Way older than you are. You're only 17 and 18, and you thought you hit the jackpot because she's 28 and 30 and 35 and 40, and you're only in your teens. And you strutting around. Yeah, my girl, she, yeah, I got a girl, she's older than I am, Jack, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sucker. You're a young, naive sucker. You haven't learned nothing. Just using you for sex that you don't know how to give. It's all you, you, you just, you, you ain't nothing but use meat. That's all she doing, using you. And believe me, she got more than one young boy on her belt. Oh, yeah. Know how to read through flattery. To realize what's not flattery. Right. Know how to see flattery versus manipulation. Amen. Huh? And this is what teaching will teach you. Yeah. How you can see through flattery and notice flattery versus manipulation. Yeah. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Anybody want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet to get your sins washed away. One, two. Two brothers. All right, brother, raise your hand so he can know who you are because he don't know. He see you. You're just walking. You see that brother back there walking? Follow him. Brother James. Yes, sir. Go 
Uh, Brother Leon, take the brother. You know where the baptismal area is? Take Brenda St. James. Baptize him. The year is still here and they're still going down.